Next winter scene, I like to paint this tree and you see the snow on the branches and then the uh, trunk. So I like to mask those lines a little bit more obvious than just a little thin line and I will splatter the masking to give it more snowy day. So this is it again, seven and a half by 11, eighth sheet of paper and I use Pebbles drawing gum. I like the color tinted and then it's not very sticky so I can give really nice line and I poured some in this uh, jar and I have the soap water that will protect the brush. I'll use the bigger brush round 12 and using skinny brush which is liner brush number two. So first Gonna work on the masking just to protect that brush well. Have some paper towel to control the amount of masking and also get rid of excess soap. So first I'm gonna do a little bit of dry brush to express that little bit of snow in the trunk. So get rid of a little bit of masking and then use sideway and then just go a little bit of dry brush going on then I'm gonna use it off and I have bigger brunch comes on the bottom and use the brush pressure to control the thickness of the line. I want to make the brunch here too. Up here. So I'm looking up to the tree so the reference picture really help you to see the angles of the branches so that's kind of major thicker branches now I'm gonna move on to skinnier brush and make sure your brush is all clean after the soap water you should rinse it with uh, regular water and then see if there's any rubber is clinging on to it. Use the skinny brush and then just to give an impression of a lot of branches uh, which I'm not gonna depict all little individual like uh, exactly what that reference picture but I just have an impression of a lot of branches kind of a little bit of grouping with uh, like a density in different places but basically I'm just going to flow some skinny branches with a skinny brush And I'll use like a wiggly motion and then where I wiggle it's an opportunity for you to add more branches. And every once in a while use uh, soap water, clean it. See the little uh, Goo is kind of forming so just get rid of that when it's a soapy water um, on the brush it helps to clean it real easily every once in a while just clean it to make sure it's not in that brush I think it it's enough um, branches, so I'm gonna focus on a little bit of 
group of uh, different uh, mass density. So I'm gonna use bigger brush for the splatter. And have a little bit of masking fluid. And the splatter. Just get rid of things around it. time. I don't want to do too too much but I want to aim for dense area. Okay. That's enough. So I'll let it sit to uh, completely dry. Now it's completely dry, so what I'm going to do is to have the background. It is, it looks like colorless, but I'm going to have purple, gray, and then where all the branches, I wanna make a little bit like impression of more tone overall where it's dense with the branches. So first I'm gonna wet the paper. I'll use big brush. Or you can use regular brush if you don't have a big brush. And mix some grayish purple. Actually, I want to paint warm color for overall first. I have a little bit of warm color. have a little contrasting temperatures and in color even though it's a monotone color colorless type of painting just having subtle contrast creates more colorfulness now I'm gonna use that grayish tone for cloudy background and while it's wet I'm gonna kind of trace the skinny branches and give it more contrast when the masking is off it will be white so in order to bring out the white, you need to contrast value with the dark. So I'm gonna go mix brunch color, which is dark, grayish, greenish, brownish color. And when it's blur, that gives the impression of more dense area. So I'm not going with that trunk yet because I don't want that to be blurred. I want to have a little bit more established line. So I'm going to wait till this area is a little drier and then have one stroke of um, the trunk and then maybe more thicker branches. So now I'm working on the smaller branches now. Just going it almost like a tracing where the masking fluid don't have to be exact tracing, but just to go it going along with underneath of that line, masking line. The snow is on top of branches, so if I go underneath, then then the snow looks like it's on the top. Okay, now I'm going with a big brush, establishing a big trunk.
and going like a thickening the main brunch. All right, get a little bit of blue green right here, just to get a little color right there. Just a hint of color. And then this gets a little too skinny. So, yeah. I'll have it dry and then peel them off and see if it's all done or maybe it needs to touch up a little bit. This is completely dry. So let's take the masking off. This is the rubber cement pickup. You can get it at our store online, jerrysartrama.com. That's where I get. This is the result. I can make some volume on the snow a little bit to finish it up. You don't have to. I think it's pretty as is. The shadow follows the bottom part and you can loosen up that hard edge by just having water to just create a little bit of shadow and make sure you don't take all the color off of what's there and control the amount of uh, water by the paper towel so if there too much color comes off Take that color off, clean the brush, and then fade it out. It's easy to lift the color, but you don't want to uh, take all the color off of what's there, or you don't want to take all the white off. So just having a little bit of easier transaction by loosening up the edges and then fade it out to give a little bit of volume. You can add a little bit of color instead of all like a, comes out of the gray uh, tree color. Just adding a little bit of blue cool color to give it a hint of color. Not too much. Okay. That kind of rounded things um, kind of um, integrated with a tree. The snow is sitting on top of the branches. And then it, just to emphasizing a little bit of color uh, contrast like that yellow, purple, or a little bit of hint of blue unifies that purple color and then another thing I was uh, working on is density like more density area uh, variety of uh, thickness um, with the masking fluid in order to control the thickness you really want to use a good brush but in order to protect the good brush you want to use soap water to coat that brush and then often you would rinse it off with a soap water and then dip it back into masking so uh, you can get really fine lines with the masking fluid so this is an example of using masking fluid depicting winter scene